And I did mention that personalization button here at the bottom. If you open this up, it shows you your options for customizing your phone. Uh, wallpapers, skins and scenes, a whole bunch of other things. Uh, but briefly, you want to know exactly what these are. Skins allow you to change the way the entire phone looks. Uh, see right now, this is my current display. You can make it a more of a, it looks more of an iPhone-ish or clear cut. Uh, this one's more of a glossy finish. This one looks like an iMac right out of the box. <laughs> and this is a nice hardwood finish. What's good to know is about these skins, they do not change the way the dial pad appears when you want to call someone. So if you're trying to make do with this phone or the software, I'm sorry, and you're trying to customize the way the dial font is or uh, the brightness of the background, it does not change that. It just changes the bars, the tiles, and just makes it more, more you. Now, along with HTC Sense comes a shortcut to uh, what is pretty much referred to as the HTC application store, also known as the HTC Hub. Uh, that does not come with standard gingerbread. Uh, it would allow you to have access to HTC Hub to download other skins, other widgets, anything else you might need or want. But it's nice to see there's a separate store for that. And it's always a warm welcome to have more options and more ways to customize your phone. All right, so now moving on to settings and features. We've gone over through everything visually with the two devices, so I will no longer need an Android gingerbread device to show you the rest of what uh, Sense UI offers. Uh, everything we speak of now and going forward is strictly on HTC Sense. It does not come with uh, standard gingerbread. And the first warm welcome was a new way to use voice activation. When you press down the magnifying glass, once on both devices, it sends you to the search screen, but if you hold it down for an extended period of time, it does bring up the voice dialing menu, if it wants to. Say command. What time is it? The time is 12.02 p.m. All right, that was a little eerie, but there you have it. Uh, there are many more, uh, it seems like there's more options with this voice activation system. I find it a lot clearer, especially when reading back names. So if I want to say call John, it'll actually say John, not John. It's not like a robot or some sort of modem going through an internet connection. So I found it a very nice welcome on the HTC Sense Say platform. command. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Another wonderful feature which most people will really appreciate is power saving mode, more or less a customizable power saving mode. So when your battery hits a certain percentage or threshold, it will automatically uh, dim or disable certain features. So if we go on over here to power settings, I can find it, there it is. And I don't have it enabled, but if I just do that real quick, and we can change settings, you can change at one percentage level, uh, the battery saver or power saver does kick in. Well, it was on. Mistake. So in this case, I have it at 15%. And here's a whole bunch of settings. You can disable Wi-Fi, but not Bluetooth. You can change screen timeout. Uh, disable vibration, which we all know uses a lot of battery power. Uh, you can change the brightness of the screen to a customizable number. I mean, this is crazy of what you can do here. And the fact you can have it controlled and customize it the way you want is a very nice welcome. That way, when you do hit that 15% mark, you can either stay connected to Wi-Fi or at least not lose connection to your Bluetooth headset. Another feature incorporated into this device is call blocking. So if we go open up the call menu here and hit settings, blocked callers. You can block callers on these devices. If you have someone that's cutting you, annoying you, telemarketers, I use it quite often for telemarketers, you can add a number to your block list, which will automatically uh, either let it ring in the background and make them think that uh, you're busy on the phone when your phone isn't really ringing or just hang up on them immediately. Now all Android devices do come with a proximity sensor usually located on the top and this is usually used to determine when the device is close to your face to disable the screen so you're not touching it when you're on a phone call. In this case there are some settings in Sense UI to make you take full advantage of that uh, proximity sensor. If we just go over here to sound there are a few modes here. Uh, quiet ring on pickup pocket mode and flip for speaker. Quiet ring on pickup means it'll reduce the volume of the phone if it is stationary and then you pick it up it'll reduce the volume gradually from 100% to about 10% in the span of about four seconds. Keep in mind quiet ring on pickup does not work if it's in your pocket already. Uh, it only works if it's stationary like this and you move it. Accelerometer detects motion it'll automatically um, reduce the volume. In pocket mode means the little ring as loud as possible when it's in your pocket so you can hear it. Not just your pocket, that refers to if it's in your purse, your gym bag, if that proximity sensor is obstructed it will ring as loud as possible like a crying baby and try to get your attention. And last but not least, flip for speaker. When you're in a phone call and you want to put it on speakerphone, just flip it upside down. Speakerphone is automatically activated and the moment you even shift it one to two degrees, speakerphone is now disabled. Very nice touch. Uh, of course, there are applications that let you use that feature to hang up, but it's nice to see this come standard on 
HTC Sense UI. Now another neat feature of HTC Sense UI is the quick boot option. Heaven knows if you have an HTC Nexus One, a Droid, or even a Motorola Spice, a few other devices, uh, Android specifically, if you turn them off, which you should really do once in a while, and turn it back on, it will take two to five minutes to load everything, get everything working. Uh, there is an interesting feature here. There is quick boot. If we go into settings, and we go into power, the last option here, fast boot, allows the phone to turn on in a matter of seconds. I think the fastest this phone turned on, uh, the My Touch 4G Panache, was at about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and it loaded my reception, uh, connected to my emails and everything like that. So that is an awesome, awesome, awesome thing to see. It allows you to at least turn the phone on very quickly, and it is something you want to use right away, especially when you're in a rush in the morning or have to get going. Another feature that I can't really show you here is HTC Sense UI version 2.1's ability to automatically end running applications once it hits over the 8 program threshold. What that means is you will not need an advanced, advanced task killer or any other uh, application designed to terminate applications. Uh, HTC Sense UI will automatically kill applications 8 and above. So if there are any more than 8 programs running at a given time, uh, it'll terminate the oldest application, which is very nice. That way you can keep your phone lean and clean, very quick, and don't have to worry about the assistance of third-party applications to do that. Now, on the note of invisible magical things that I can't show you right here on this phone is HTCSense.com. This allows you access to your dashboard, which allows you to remote track, lock, ring, and wipe your phone. Now, that is really cool. A lot of phones like the iPhone 4 come with this, uh, like Mobile Me and some other applications. However, this finally has it. It has it built in. It automatically backs up your text messages, allows you to track your phone, allows you to wipe it. This is all from HTCSense.com, which when you register, allows you access to your phone's hardware and allows you to control your phone remotely. It's very nice to see this addition because a lot of individuals have to install multiple applications to get this functionality. In this case, it's all there. Already, there were three things I forgot to mention about the differences between uh, stock gingerbread and Sense UI version 2.1. First being the text modification method. So if you're entering a text message or going into an email, uh, there are different ways you modify text. So if we take a look at the Android 2.3, if you want to and modify text, you just have a little slider here. You can slide around with your finger and you can see that. There you go. And you can modify the word or phrase you'd like to. On HTC Sense, when you do have a whole bunch of text, you want to modify it, it magnifies. So you can drag it around and zooms on in so you can see what you're doing a lot better. That was a very neat feature, also very important since these phones are going to be used on a daily basis. You want to make sure you know what you're doing. Second is widgets. Um, how they move around, which is pretty cool. If we take a look, let's say here I have a very similar layout. If I want to drag the weather on, actually, you know what? Let me use the normal one first, <laughs> Android 2.3. I want to move it here. Too bad. It says, you know what, I don't want to help you. Too bad. You're, no, what are you doing? It's occupied space. But if I do it over here on HTC Sense UI, drag this down, it automatically moves those icons out of the way. It doesn't delete them, it just moves them. So, very nice bouncy effect, very nice touch, so that you can move things around without having to worry about anything. And last but not least, the lock screens. Uh, there are two kinds of lock methods on these phones. You can lock them by either having a numeric password uh, or alphanumeric. There's another option for that. Or pattern, where you, there's uh, nine dots and you have to connect the dots a certain way. Uh, more importantly is how they unlock. Uh, let's lock both these devices. On standard Android, if you press the power button once and unlocks the screen, it brings you straight to your lock screen. So you can enter a password. You're on the way. On Sense UI, you do have to slide down this little uh, rocker here. And once you do that, then you're greeted with the password screen. It's a two-step process. I'm not too fond of it myself. However, in the end, it is something you have to be aware of because you must lock and unlock your phone several times a day, hundreds of times a month. You want to know how that is like. So here we go. Normal password. And this one, slide down and enter your password. So what have we learned? What can you take away with you from this video? The most important thing that comes to mind is the fact that HTC Sense UI version 2.1 does come with a lot of functionality and options that users love to have in their devices. But if you do have the vanilla or standard version of Gingerbread, you have to download these applications individually. And it doesn't make sense to download all these applications to do something that standard software can do. So what we're looking at is maybe an advanced task killer here along with mobile lookout to back up your information or your, uh, sorry, your text messages. Then another program to allow you to track it remotely. I mean, you can install up to five to 10 programs onto a gingerbread device and of course have the functionality. But in this case, Sense UI already incorporates it. And everyone knows when something is supported by default or comes with 
the hardware, it does tend to work a lot better. There are no issues, there are no conflicts. Uh, they play well together, and that is the most important thing to remember. So in the end, there is a lot of visual difference between these two operating systems. You do want to see which one's right for you. Hopefully this video was helpful. Again, this is Elias Planakos from Wireless Insider. Please comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Until next time, take care.